Hi, this is Mark Gaylor, Adobe Photoshop Ambassador for the Asia Pacific region here. And we're going to discuss or uh, feature my top 20 all time favorite uh, tips and techniques for when working in Photoshop CC. Okay, top tip um, number 17. Okay, now this has been around for a little while and as with many wow features that come in with new releases of Photoshop, we, we think they're better than sliced bread and we use them for a week and then end up never using them ever again. Where this isn't one of those wow features that came in. Okay, the feature that I'm going to be looking at uh, can be found in the edit menu and they're grayed out at the moment because I've only got one layer selected but they're auto align and auto blend. This is the driving force behind something called photo merge. Okay, but uh, we're going to use it in an atypical way. Um, so to show you how useful um, these controls controls actually are. Now we'll see on this layer uh, that the boy has blinked when the uh, camera has taken this exposure but we've got a nice portrait of the dog. Um, only a fraction of a second apart of course we had an alternative image where the dog is now looking away but the boy has got his eyes open. Now obviously the best of both worlds would exist if we could uh, merge these two layers together and uh, they're handheld you can see there's a little bit of a jump between the two the camera is not on a tripod okay uh, and if I was to lower the opacity of this layer you can see that uh, the shoulder of this boy and the knees they don't line up okay and it's not because the boy's moving um, it's because the uh, the camera in the hands is moving okay so this is where this feature really comes into its own okay we'll select both layers okay well, I've just held down the shift key as I selected the layer below there so that they're both selected now now when we come up to the edit menu uh, they're no longer grayed out we can auto align those layers okay and I'll just take the auto again off this option you can see this is mostly used in photo merge for panoramas but this is not a panorama so don't be uh, put off by those little icons let's just click OK and uh, Photoshop will weave its magic so that now when I click that top layer and lower its opacity you'll see the shoulders and the knees at 50% are all in perfect alignment okay the and we can see that uh, double-headed dog there um, and also the eyes opening and closing so this is really where um, we've got uh, that great feature I'll just put that back at 100% oops let's just click uh, okay it's selected as a hundred percent we're going to add a layer mask coming down to the bottom of the layers panel clicking on the add layer mask icon okay you don't need to be a selection wizard to exercise this one I'm um, because I'm going to just select a brush tool with black as the foreground color and I'm going to push the opacity up to 100 percent I'll just increase the size of the brush using the uh, close square bracket key. This is going to be a really difficult masking job. Oh, look, it's done. Okay, so there we go. We've just opened the boy's eyes, okay, um, which is actually on the layer below. Okay, so let's just do a bit before. Yeah, there you go. There's the um, dog on the layer uh, below. And we've got a little bit of transparency, so we might need to do a little bit of a tighter crop on this one, uh, and then our work is done. So if you are taking pictures at a party or a wedding and you've got eight or nine people in your shot and you're pretty much guaranteed that somebody will look away or blink, just take two or three shots and uh, you'll remember there's a technique waiting in Photoshop that is designed just for this um, task. Just to show you how far we can go with this auto align feature, I have three images captured here by my good friend and colleague Abhijit Shataraj, uh, captured in Vietnam. Now he had the great idea of rather than uh, waiting for one decisive moment, um, capture three um, uh, different moments and then in post-production we could actually uh, merge the best of each layer or image into one image. Now on this uh, top layer um, we We've got um, a nice um, uh, 
guy, a picture of a guy walking through the alleyway and this grandmother watching the child playing in this deck chair. Uh, on the next image um, we're a lot closer and it looks like we've moved a little bit to the right um, because we've got now we've got a good um, closer uh, detail of the uh, young guy in the deck chair now uh, but the grandmother's closed her eyes. Um, and on the base layer um, we've got probably the best expression uh, of the older woman here uh, watching the child play and we've got this great um, uh, captured moment of the guy on the scooter zipping through the alleyway whilst taking a mobile phone call of course and um, so how do I get the, um, the three best elements into one layer? First thing we need to do is to align the elements because of the different uh, focal length or vantage point. Uh, let's see if um, uh, Photoshop can align these three very different elements. So let's go to the edit menu, choose auto align layers, choose the auto option, select OK and let Photoshop weave its magic. Now we're going to get a good deal of transparency because uh, the images are very different sizes. For instance that um, close image has that to be scaled down so it fits the other two. We've also got um, a little bit of perspective shift there to uh, counteract for that slight vantage point change. So some very clever stuff um, going on in order to get these three layers to align. Now because uh, um, most cameras are usually set to auto and this is not great for creating composite images um, so let's uh, go to the next feature all three layers are selected choose auto blend layers and uh, we've got this great option uh, which has also got this content aware fill transparent areas and this content aware is been getting better and better with each subsequent release of Photoshop so I highly anticipate this is going to make a very good um, fix for those transparent areas and uh, there you go. Not bad at all really. Um, we wouldn't know that there's any transparency that needed to be fixed. Yes, we've got a little bit of a line that should really have continued, but I'm not going to worry about uh, that too much uh, because uh, we've really uh, got a good outcome there, except we've only got two of the elements I, ident I identified from the four as being the best of the elements. Okay, let's just do a command zero to fit uh, on uh, screen that you can see where the transparency is being filled there. Okay, so let's um, go and identify this layer below has got the guy walking through the alleyway. So I'm just going to push that to the top of the layer stack, select the layer mask uh, because I want to reveal the guy that's walking down the alleyway. And to reveal that, I'm going to select the brush tool, white, 100% opacity, soft edge brush and brush him in. Okay, and the job is done. Now, the uh, some of the tones might not line up exactly because of that, um, uh, what the uh, Photoshop has been doing to make these layers match up uh, with that auto exposure going on. So the soft edge brush is quite important. So we gradually feed in that new content there. Okay, so those are uh, three of the elements. It's only um, uh, left to uh, get the little guy into the picture, so to speak. So we'll just push this up to the top of the layer stack. Uh, again, select the layer mask. We don't want to be painting into that layer. If ever there's a risk that you might actually paint into the layer, just um, uh, lock um, the layer, um, uh, which will help. You know, like we can lock various elements. Uh, locking the image pixels will make sure that we can't accidentally damage uh, the pixels on that layer. Now with the layer mask selected, I'm just going to go in and uh, reveal the guy on this layer. Now I'm going to have to paint quite a lot to get all of those tones merging in, which includes a little bit of the chair and his legs. Uh, enough. I'll probably stop painting where we go into the smoother continuous tones of this image. Okay, so I think I've got him all. Okay, and I think uh, that's going to work. Okay, one, two, three, four best elements all on the same layer and uh, we don't even have to crop unless we're really worried about what uh, content aware Phil has been doing in those transparent areas. So that's really how far we can take that uh, auto align. Uh, and also its companion there, which uh, is the powerhouse uh, behind Photo Merge, which is the auto blend as well. Okay, and that uh, concludes uh, tip number 17.